Hello everybody, Brent Out Guy here and welcome back. Alright, so in today's episode we're going to have a little bit of fun. Well, I'm hopefully we're going to have a little bit of fun anyways. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on our slime farm again. Um, it's almost done. We've got like a little bit of details left to finish. So I figured out what I'm going to do with this room. I think we're going to make like a little bit of a map room out of it. So as we explore the maps, we're going to come in here and put them in here. And I think, uh, I don't know how many maps it is. I think, I think it was 25. I doubt it's that. But if it is 25, well, we might have to expand this. But that's okay. We'll, um, we'll work with it. It'll be a work in progress, right? Slow but surely. So, yeah. All right. So let's go check out our slime farm. What we got going on there. Um, I did change this there. I didn't like how they were on both, only on one side, so I cut them and trimmed them, and yeah, looks a little bit better like that. Um, all this storage room area here too is all going to change up there. So that's all going to be a little bit different. So the plan is check my back first, make sure there's no baddies coming after me. All right, so you're going to see this right here. This is where. This is actually connected to the slime farm downstairs, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, there you are. Um, we're going to use an item elevator to bring it up. I think I'm going to bring this up, like, maybe to about here. So that way, when I do a roof, these hoppers are actually up in the roof. Uh, that way, you can actually see the slime going in. And these, I might change place to, to be something, like, more over here against the wall. Um, yeah, for more better looks and it doesn't look so crammed up there but that was just kind of like a basic layout of how I how I want things to be right and then we'll build a nice little hut here kind of similar style of like you know what we got going on here there and I had an idea for the pathway what I'm going to do is going to kind of do like a, a broken up pathway oh no oh you 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 didn't you didn't just mess up my floor <sighs> Mr. Creeper, I'm not very impressed with you, yeah? Alright, so we're gonna, I guess, friggin' fix this hole. Ah, oh, I'm not happy about that, Mr. Creeper. So I guess I'm gonna need some more hole filler afterwards. Oh, that's lux. Alright, alright, well, I guess we can use some dirt. Ah, oh, that's poopy. I thought, oh wow. Well. I would have had enough on me. That's fine. Actually, I might have some in this chest, too. Three? Ah, three. Alright, well, three's better than none. So, boop, boop, boop. Alright, so the idea is, before we get men slaughtered again here and blown up by another creeper, let's go down here into the slime farm and check this out. Ah! 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 Mr. Creeper! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All I heard was Psst, and I was out of there. All right, so as you can see, we already have some slime down here, which is pretty cool. We'll uh, dispatch these vermin, use our looting sword, and get all kinds of slime over here, right? Whole purpose of a slime farm. All right, so I think this is going to work out actually really well. I think we're going to get like a whole whack of slime here, everybody. And then once I dispatch of all these things here, well, I'll show you exactly what we got going on. This is pretty crazy. All right, so. <laughs> well, all this is working out just fine. All right, so I bet you they all went into the hoppers. <laughs> oh, yeah, sweet. <laughs> well, at least I know the system works. All right, that's pretty awesome. All right, so let's show you what I got going on here. So there's none on this side. I didn't bring any rails down with me. All right, I'll do that afterwards off camera. But here's the basic idea. We're going to have a minecart hopper system, and it's going to be going back and forth underneath here. These are going to be the uh, killing system. So this is going to kill all of our mobs. Uh, so we should have a pretty fast death rate. There shouldn't be too much despawnage, uh, as far as I can think of anyways. Um, it's a pretty effective way of killing it, and you don't lose any of your drops anywhere, so it should be pretty much, well, 100% lossless, unless you have something despawned. Now, 
they're going to come through this unloading station, which is just a uh, comparator going into a block with a torch that resets this. So once it detects it's receiving items, it's going to kind of like unpower that. So it unpowers the rail and it's going to stay there until it's unloaded. So that's the idea behind that. Then I have it coming over here to a dropper. And I was like, okay, well, we have to save on hoppers because, like, we're, like, really low limited. Like, I don't want to be using all my hoppers right off the bat, right? So, I'm like, how are we going to, like, you know, make this work? So, this is what I figured out. I figured we would shoot them into a water stream. They would come down here. Eventually, once they get packed ice, I'm, I'll put packed ice underneath there. And then it'll make it a little bit faster for the water. Um... But yeah, so how this works is your comparator comes in here on a subtract mode. Uh, if I remember how this is, works, it's going to read it, it's going to send it a signal, and it's going to kind of like click it on and off, on and off, on and off, and it's going to keep dispensing them. So yeah, that's kind of like the basic gifs behind that, right? So it kind of makes kind of like a little clock, so it's always spitting them out, right? Uh, same thing goes on both sides. As you've seen, we threw in, uh, we'll just throw in some here. There we go. There we go. This is a good test to find out uh, if any are going to get stuck anywhere. Well, this is pretty good so far. Alright, alright, I'm pretty... Oh, is that because I was just standing too close? Maybe, maybe. Maybe I just got too bloody close. But that's fine. The, uh, the system works. And I'm pretty happy with that. So that's my idea for, for this anyway. It's a good combination of, of technologies. It's not like super massive and we have one for both sides. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the glass go up to about here. And then the rest should be able to be okay to be solid blocks. As far as I know anyways. Um, you don't need to have all glass blocks going all the way up. As long as it has something like to kind of hold it in between and glitch it out there. That's how I understand that as well. So I guess this is how we're going to work it. So I just got to do the redstone. It's the exact same thing as this right here. That goes right here. Um, so I'll go get my redstone stuff and all like goodies. And I'll get what we need to finish this section off. Uh, then that will be finished. Then at the same time too, I'll grab the rest of the tracks and the killing section here. And then all I'll have left to do is just the floors. And the rest I'm going to leave like this for now. Um, until I get more building materials. Because I think I would like to actually make this room kind of like all green, to be honest with you. Uh, I think it would be fitting for this, uh, this whole mob farm. And at the same time, too, I want to also leave room in for where I'm going to put the iron golems in later on. And uh, the only reason why I'm still going to use the iron golems is because it's going to draw them out faster. And it's going to make them drop here. So they might, they won't play on there on the um, spawning pads as much. So that's that. So I'll go get my stuff ready and all that good stuff. And we'll come back and we'll do a little bit of building. And we'll do a little bit of redstone and all that good stuff together. So I'll be right back. All right now, and now we're back. Um, so we're gonna put a comparator here. Uh, I'm gonna put a repeater, and we're gonna put another repeater. And dabble this like this, and like that. And I think that's gonna be on subtract mode. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does. All right. So let's go to the other side. Pretty simple stuff, anyways. Like, can't really complain, right? Wrong one. Subtract mode. Put a repeater. Two dust there. Three dust there. And we should be good to go. Alright, so that should send our items up. So I guess what we'll do is we'll do our elevator now, right? Since that's kind of important. Move this stuff out of the way. Alright, we should be good. We should be good. So now. I'm going to put, what, put a ring of solid blocks here, right? That's what we're going to do. Kind of make it look like the base of it. Kind of hide it a little bit. Alright. 
and then do the same here. I guess I'll be able to get rid of these ladders too at the same time. It means I'll have to have another way down to get in here. Um, yeah, I just thought of that. <laughs> two. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go maybe about four blocks high. That'd be pretty good, eh? Make it look nice. Um, I guess maybe a different color glass would have been nice too. But maybe for another time. Another time. If we want to come back here and put green glass in later on, we could do that. Make it look a little bit different. Alright, so I think about here should be good, and then we should be able to start making it all in uh, all in cobblestone and save on glass, since no one's really going to see this part, right? So, And then technically, oops, I thought it was still crouched. Interesting. Uh, technically, it should work, right? So, this is what I've seen. This is what I've seen. Alright. Hopefully this doesn't take too darn long to do, but uh, I'll finish this off, and when I get to the top, um, yeah, we'll do other things. <laughs> well, I guess we'll get the, uh, we'll test it out, and we'll see how well this uh, this whole thing works if it goes into the uh, the storages upstairs, which will be pretty cool if it does. All right, so give me a little bit, and I'll be right back. Alright, so now I filled up the entire hole. Um, I decided to put some dark oak here. Mm, I think it looks nice. And then I did the same thing here, but I put them upwards. So, yeah, I think that's okay. I think that should be fine. I might actually do it one. Oh, hello, my friend. Hello, how are you? You notice mobs seem to be like stalling now? They don't really come towards you is it are they intimidated now or something or what i noticed that a lot like mobs will just like see you and they'll just like stop they won't move it's look at this guy let's see if i can get ourselves another ender pro nice 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 we got three all right, so we're up to four ender pearls now. That's good. That's going to help us find the end portal. So we can go kill ourselves a dragon and get some wings. That's another goal of ours. All right, so this is the uh, the idea. It's going to go up and around, down, and in all the chests. Now, I figure if I put another row of oak here instead, it might cover the hoppers more. And it might look a little bit better. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Yeah, I think I'll do that better. Um, so now we got to find another way down because we pretty much well kind of killed our only way down. <laughs> so let's go down here and we'll build ourselves a way, another way down so we can go finish off the rest of the slime farm. So this should bring us to here, which now I don't want to come here no more. See, look at the big slimes already. Alright, so what if we go over... I got an idea. I'll just get rid of these. We'll get rid of that. I'll change for this. And then we'll just change the location of this. That way we're not going into the spawner when we're going down there. We're just going to check out somewhere where we can go put for the redstone. So we can go and check out if anything ever jams or anything like that try to find a, a nice efficient way to do this all right so one, two. now that came right off our main path uh, this was right at the edge of the wall so it was one two three, four roughly so if we go five we should be good here all right so I'll close up to here and with any due luck, we should end up in a half decent spot. And I'll collect you guys later. But for now, I just want to get down there. Oh, more coal. That's good. That's good. 
Oh no, what did I just destroy? <laughs> Alright, uh, crud. What do I have on me that's useless? Oh, it was just a piece of redstone. Oh, it wasn't so bad. Uh, what's useless? Hmm. What the hell's down there? Anyway, it's just coal. Yeah, I can just do that, but I just do that. I need coal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Um, actually, there was nothing there. No. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> Why did I feel like I destroyed something when I came down? That was weird. Hmm. Alright, well, we're all good. We're all good. I didn't destroy nothing. I thought I did, but this actually works out pretty good. That was some pretty good counting there, Bog. Alright, let's put our ladders in. And then we'll at least have a way up and down. So that's good. And then we can test this out and see if it works. And then if it works, well, then hoorah. And then we can start doing the rest of the killing section. So that'll be pretty good. Notice there's a lot of things that have changed in the game there once in a while. Like your how fast you can place items. And like, yeah, sometimes you gotta like spam the, the remote in order to place the item. And before you kind of didn't have to really do that. So. I do have some chests on me, so that's good. I can kind of unload a little bit of stuff here, so. Cause I feel like I'm, I got too much junk on me here. Too much stuff that I don't need. All right, so we'll finish off those tracks. And then, I guess, oh, I, I should have brought redstone blocks with me because I need to light these up. All right, so let's go get some redstone blocks. I'll be back. All right, now we got our redstone blocks. Um, how are we gonna do this? Now they go with signal with strength as well. So if I were to say like put them here, they would light up 15 down that way. Let me just check. Let's just find out. All right, so if I do that there, so I know this is should be 16 long, right? So but it's one, two. Torch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, so they don't. All right, so I'll have to place it elsewhere. How many am I missing? One, two, three, four. All right, that shouldn't be too bad. So if I bring it four forward, one, two, three, four. So I put it right there. All right, and we'll see how well that works. Uh, normal cobble, there we go. Powered rail, and we'll finish these out here since we know we're gonna have them on all of them, right? Let's just hope we have enough powered rails though. That's what I'm kind of hoping. All right, so far so good, I like this. All right, so good. Um. I like this little track. Oh, I'm probably going to run out of power rails. Let's hope we don't. Oh, yeah, I definitely will. I'm going to have to go and hopefully find some more gold somewhere. Or, or. <laughs> there is always an alternative, people. There is always an alternative. Um, I could, uh, I could glitch them. And I can get all kinds. Um, do we cheat? Or, you know, because AFK fishing is kind of cheating, isn't it? You know, you kind of cheat in the system a little bit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about that. We'll see how, how desperate I want this done, right? Uh, I don't know. It's really tempting. Because it's going to take, like, two minutes to build the darn thing, alright, it's not a very complicated thing to build, alright, so that's, maybe that, so if we close this off, uh, this also would have to be closed off, like that, 
but then I have to put the minecart first. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll put a minecart, and then we'll close it off. How does that sound? So this should technically work. Oh, yeah. Butthead. I forgot about that. Oh, I'm going to have to rebuild that. Dope. Um, I hope it has enough strength. And it doesn't. I'm going to have to use a redstone block here. Dope. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Um, there we go. And now we can do this. Oh, that sucks. Alright, that's fine. There we go. Now this should work. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So now, we should get slime. That's off that side anyways. That side should give us slime. Now there's just this side. Now I know... Oh, I hear some slimies up there. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, they're all over here. Hello, my friends. Let's collect some more. Since we're here, right? Just be all very useful for us later on. Alright. There we go. Die, slimies. Die. So if there wasn't mending on this thing, I'd be like bringing it back to life. Now you could make an XP farm out of these things, but I don't see the purpose of it. I don't think it would be all that great. Um, so I guess I gotta do this whole test all over again, right? <laughs> and see which one is the uh, the farthest. Uh, let's just test it here. That sounds like a good place. And then we'll go all the way over. Ah, nice. Alright. That might have been just like dumb luck, right? Or I used the force. That's right. So we're missing quite a few. Quite a few. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe about oof, 20 or so I'm missing. Oh, that's poopy. That's really poopy. Uh, Alright. So I guess that's that for now. Oh. 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 Now did that get shot out here and oh. And it shot it up here? Really? I hope not. Because I don't want to be losing stuff up here. I'll have to maybe build a wall like this. Yeah, at least till there anyways. That should be fine. Just a couple. One, two, three. Oh yeah, let's go three. I don't think it shoots any farther than three. And that way we can still kind of get around here. Might have to like, you know, weird jump that one there, but um, can I put a block right here though? I could. That might stop it. And then I could just do it like that. There we go. Alright, that works for me. That works for me. I'll just put another one right here just to make sure. Um, alright, well that kind of sucks uh, a little bit that I didn't have enough gold for that. It's kind of unfortunate. Um... I guess I'll remake that into a hopper minecart at the same time. I'll go check my resources and all that good stuff. And if I don't have any more gold, well, at least we'll work on the rest of the layers today. And, um, yeah. Alright, so I'll go check and see if I got any more gold. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I do. Uh, back up the ladder. If I can get up there. Ah! So a little de do, a little de do. Oops, that was the wrong way. <laughs> and we're gonna go and check out what we've accomplished. So yeah, I think I've accomplished quite a bit there uh, this last couple of days there working on uh, this whole slime farm thing. Things have come along pretty nicely, I'd have to say so myself. So as you can see, slime balls are going up and into our system so we can look at what we got here so far in our slime farm we've got a nice little collection of slime going in here which is pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome and i haven't been afk that long so maybe an hour so yeah it wasn't too too bad so i'll go show you what we have done here and uh all that good stuff and then our slime farm is pretty much well done 
So as you can see, we have slime all dying down here. This is level one, this is level number two, and there's also a third one below. So that gives us our three, three spawning pads. And I think that's going to be more than enough than what we need. And if it keeps going that way, I probably won't even have to put in the iron golems. Um, it's going to be pretty, pretty efficient as it is. So yeah, that's looking pretty darn good there. So we'll just lock this up here like this and uh, we'll go down here and have a look. Uh, this is what I got going on down here. Cover the whole floor up and then items are going to glitch through here and work their way up. Uh, yeah, it works well on both sides. So as you can see, items are being plopped out, and we're getting slime. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome indeed. I cheated it a little bit when it came to the uh, this side here. I had used normal rails <laughs> to complete the uh, the whole thing. So I did go mining for a little bit. I only found nine pieces of gold, so that only gave me twelve rails. And the rest I had to use normal rails for. But that's fine. It worked. I didn't have to, like, you know, duplicate or cheat or anything like that. So it was pretty good. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So now our slime farm is pretty much well complete. And then all that's left to do is to build a nice little hut around the, uh, around the item area, gathering area up here. Which is pretty good. So we'll have that all done and complete. I might even eventually... Uh, maybe lock this up or just put a door here or something so that way we know that's what it's off to. Um, other than that, I think this is pretty successful. We got ourselves a lot of slime coming in here. So we'll have lots of slime balls and slime blocks and all that good stuff. So I think I'm going to call that an episode, everybody. Uh, it's been a pretty good episode. So now I think the next time... I'll figure out what kind of a little shanty I want here. Um, probably just like a half shanty, like a half moon kind of thing going on here because we don't want to interrupt the the ground here too, too much there. And I even might make the ground go around the shanty just a little bit too. So we'll see how that works. But that's it uh, for today. So in the next episode, I have no idea what I have planned yet. Um, I guess I'll have to figure out what's our next important step that we're going to need here. I think it's either going to be a mob farm or the iron golem farm. So I'm not 100% sure on which one is we're going to do. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Do like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace and take care.